I believe the NRA has underserved uh, restaurateurs and food people in general mm -hmm. over the years. I, I don't think the NRA has done a very good job at all of being a voice for the industry. They've been a, a voice for big business yep. in the industry. Yep. I'm very much a pro big business person. I actually believe that big business will solve our problems. In other words, in my hunger programs, I need General Mills. Right. I love General Mills. Right. Right. I, I want to work with General Mills. Yeah. They're one of the biggest food companies in the world and Nestle and all these people, they're not the enemy. Mm -hmm people don't realize that General Mills is spending more money than any other food company in the world on trying to figure out how to create drought resistant grains, mm -hmm. right? This is a so, good thing. So I applaud, I yeah. applaud them. I'm not a big fan of their sugary cereals, right. but I love what they're doing. And they have distribution channels and global mm -hmm. shipping and they have the things that we need so that when I figure out a way to feed the people in the Sahel, I need General Mills in, in my corner. So I'm very, very pro big yeah. business. But the problem is if you only cater to them and you ignore the people on Main Street mm -hmm. or the people who, who can't afford to be on Main Street, you are making a very, very, very dangerous political play in this country. And I do believe that politics is where this battle is going to be fought. Mm.